the camera has overheated again and these lights are really hot so the hair has gone up all right back into it you wear contact lenses i do not i am glasses free baby no glasses no contact lenses thank god you eat mostly healthy foods and rarely eat junk food yeah I, I really try to. I don't, not really eat junk food, but I definitely eat majority, mostly healthy foods. Hanchi. You love animals, especially dogs. <laughs> My uh, response to before, so we just gonna keep going. You have never been to London. It's true, I have never been to London. It's a shame you're missing out and so are we. Please come to a performance here. <laughs> All right, I'll work on it. I wish that I could come to London and meet my British fans. Yeah, I do. Girl. You are the most relaxed, natural, chilled person. <laughs> I love having a good time of being crazy. I do do my best to operate like that. Definitely, definitely have some crazy energy sometimes and definitely love having a good time. You'd like to be kept busy. I like to be productive. I like to be contributing and all that kind of stuff. And at the same time, I definitely like my downtime. You're quite the type to love reading and look of information and encyclopedia and very scientific knowledge. You are probably also into the natural geographics, like the nature of the world. So here's interesting. I love reading in concept. I am a very slow reader. It takes a long time for me to get the information in and integrate it. So I read very, very slowly. You see, I have a bucket of books back there that I'm working on. <laughs> and I do love to learn. So even though I don't necessarily look up information in encyclopedias, I love the knowing the way things are work. You are shy. Oh, she wrote in question mark, you are shy? No, I don't think so. You're very outgoing, you love to have good company. Although you like to have quiet time alone where you can spend more quality time with you, yourself, and your shadow. You're also an extrovert, but you like to have some quiet time for yourself. You are an introvert, though you are very social and outgoing. You have a very private side to yourself and enjoy some alone time. I actually can be quite shy. In new situations, around new people, I get very shy. <laughs> Me. And yeah, I, I am also outgoing and love having good company. I don't know if I'm more an extroverted or introverted, probably a little bit more extroverted, I am starting to realize, but I definitely do like to have quite time for myself. You are super confident in your values and know who you are right now, but you weren't always that way. Yes, absolutely. True, very true. And you know what, that's part of growing up is figuring out our values, figuring out who we are and allowing ourselves the time and space to do that. I assume that you are such a kind, loving and warm and fun person who has had to grow a lot in life and really embraces life and all that life throws and gives. Also that you enjoy life. You guys are so nice. And by guys, I mean girls. You gals, you ladies. I think so. I did have to grow a lot in life. Uh, most of us do. None of us are grown, are born fully grown and developed. It's, it takes time and I really do embrace life. And while challenges are not the most fun all the time, I definitely have learned to say, all right, let's do this. We know how to do this, let's get it done. Let's get it done. And just, you know, you learn to build trust with yourself and knowing that even in the hard times it gets better and that you've got this, you know? You are an extremely talented girl who loves giving to others. People enjoy being around you, you're full of excitement and fun. <laughs> Thank you. I think that I have some talents, thank God, which is funny. I don't know that I ever realized that it was seen as something extreme until very recently. I still don't fully get it, but that's okay. I definitely love giving to others and I definitely have people who enjoy being around me too, which is great. You don't know how excited I am for this video you're going to put together. You're right, I don't. <laughs> next, <laughs> next assumption. <laughs> You're a non-judgmental person, that you're maybe a Bala's Chuva, but I'm not sure about that one. I really, really do my best to be non-judgmental. And a lot of that also comes from learning how to be non-judgmental of yourself. People are people, and we all need to be who we are. I don't know anything I'm saying is that that's okay. That I may be Bala's Chuva, I am not. I am, I am, was born into a from family, and my parents are both from, 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 from. My parents are also both from, from families. You hate dressing up all fancy and going out, like serious fancy, not dress up for shows and stuff. You prefer comfort, but beauty rather than dressing up all hoity-toity. <laughs> You're right, I do prefer comfort. I don't hate dressing up, getting all fancy. It's fun to do sometimes. I don't love to do it all the time. I like to be able to move around, you know what I'm saying? You are family oriented. I love my family. I love my immediate family, my cousins, my friends who are like my family. You keep your distance so you know a person well. Yeah, I would say pretty much that kind of goes back to me being somewhat shy sometimes. And, and I would say, you know, I'm somewhat private. 
So maybe it looks like keeping distance, but it's also just, you know, it takes time to get to know somebody. We love laughing and partying, yes and yes, and sometimes partying to me is not like major partying, it's just kind of sitting around on the couch. We love playing male roles. <laughs> I don't necessarily love it, I don't not love it. Just kind of is, I, I love playing roles that I love playing. <laughs> so, great. Okay, the camera overheated again, so this time I put it into the refrigerator to cool off. <laughs> We're gonna try this again. I'm not gonna get ready to put it in the fridge. <laughs> Seriously. Next, I assume you don't know the amount people talk about you. Adoringly, of course. I mean, you hijack almost every conversation amongst my sister here. Interesting. No, I did not know that. Uh, cool? <laughs> I mean, I hope that it's in good and helpful ways. <laughs> You're bored at the moment. Nope, I'm having a fun time doing this. Acting comes very natural to you. you. I would say yes, and there's a lot of work that goes behind it. You are a bat mitzvah party entertainer with all that energy. And I am not a bat mitzvah party entertainer. I am just a regular daily self-entertainer. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That is not what I do. I imagine you're hilarious today. <laughs> that you're always there to help another. Could be. <laughs> I do my best to help to help others when I can. I feel like you're pretty blunt too, you know? <laughs> Thanks, Tamara, she wrote a name. I do my best to be honest, but I wouldn't necessarily say I'm blunt. You sometimes pretend to stargaze, or do you really know how? Yeah, I've gone out to stargaze. I don't I don't necessarily know what I'm doing. Sometimes it's just enjoying, enjoying the beautiful, wondrous, wide sky. And sometimes I'm with people who know what they're doing, and it's fun. Yeah, we always try to wonder who you live with in New York, if you board with friends, or if you've got your own apartment. No, I do have two housemates. And I, <laughs> more on that to be coming soon. Stay tuned. That you're actually not so confident as you always look, that is usually the case with all these famous people. I don't know what how confident I always look because especially in the context of stuff like this, there's a couple of videos that I get to share with you and there's me on a stage. So I don't know how that looks to you all. It's a very small margin of who I am. So how I always look, I don't know. But I do think that Thank God, I, I am a confident person, as we've spoken of before. Yeah. You have never gone out with blown or straight hair. Uh, not often. I've probably done it three or four times over the last five to 10 years. <laughs> I can find a picture for you. I will add it somewhere here as, we're, as we continue to talk. My hair definitely looks a lot more blonde and a lot less strawberry. And I like my curly hair, curly wavy hair. You're very glad that you grew up in an out-of-town community. Yes, I am. I, I, I love where I come from. Get annoyed when people try to contact you. But no, I think it's long as it's in the ways that I welcome it. So I've had times where people have called me that I didn't know who they were and they've hung up or giggled or, I don't love that, especially because it's a private phone number and a phone number that I use for work. So it's definitely, you know, it can definitely feel a little invasive and disruptive. But when it comes to things like via email or during live, I love getting to hear from you and talk with you and respond and interact and all that good stuff. If I see people live, I'm so happy for you to come and say hi. And, and I hope that you will if I ever if you ever see me somewhere. Hope that answered that. You look like you're 21, but I think you're not. <laughs> no, I am not 21. Young appearance that you hate acting with a smiley face. Like, I love it. That you are slightly wacky, eccentric, not a care in the world, free-spirited and chill. You're a totally normal person here, totally normal. Beep, 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 beep. I don't know what I'm doing. But there's definitely a lot that I care about, definitely a lot that I care about. I wouldn't necessarily call myself a free-spirited person, but you know, those, those handful of things that I really hold as highly important, I definitely keep close. You were the naughty one in school who gave an innocent impression and never got in trouble. <laughs> I love this. No, I was a really good student. I was still nuts. It happened to be I went to a small high school, so there was definitely space for us to, you know, be ridiculous outside of class. There were a few classes that we were not the best students, but overall I was pretty academic, pretty studious, paid attention in class, liked learning, that kind of stuff. You actually don't know how exactly famous you are. I mean, here in London, we love you. I don't know what that means, um, but people in London, I love you too. <laughs> people in America, I love you too. Don't feel left out. Next. You find yourself funny. You sometimes crack yourself up even when you're on your own. 
Guys, <laughs> I am literally sitting in a room by myself, talking to a camera and laughing a lot. <laughs> no, this assumption is not accurate. You know how to imitate boys really well. <laughs> takes the intense studying of a character to be able to imitate them very well, whether it be male or female, yes, yes indeed. Can the next part we do be any questions we have about you or is that too personal? Um, yeah, we could do that. And if there's any question that I don't want to answer, I won't. That sounds like a really good idea. I love recommendations. You are very sensitive to other people and their needs. You're a good listener. Yeah, I work on being very sensible, sens that I'm sensitive to other people and their needs. You know, sometimes it depends on uh, if you're taking care of your own needs, that's how much you can pay attention to other people's needs. But I, I do think I'm a good listener. You have the potential to create a fab Jewish women's program all around the world. I probably do, maybe, possibly. I don't really know what kind of fab Jewish women's program you're talking about, but that sounds cool. All around the world, here we come. Look at, here we come. You and Esther Leah, that's my sister, are very close now, but bigger a lot when you were children. Actually really funny. We are close now, but when we were younger, Estrella just didn't talk to me. <laughs> so quite the opposite. She just ignored me. <laughs> she actually doesn't even remember doing it. All right. Not only did the camera overheat, but then the battery was exhausted. So I had to plug it in to recharge. So we are just going to continue here. All right. Let's get back into it. You don't like roller coasters. You're not scared of them. You just don't like them. I used to love it. Haven't been on a roller coaster in a long time, so I'm not sure if my opinion has changed. You have some similarities to Emma Watson, but you do not like her. I don't even know. <laughs> I don't know her. I don't uh, necessarily follow her in any way, shape, or form. I don't have a strong opinion in any way. You love dancing, singing, and acting. I don't assume I know. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. You are an Enneagram counterphobic six with a nice size seven wing, big time. I don't know the details of the Enneagram so well, so I'm not sure about that. Um, I would love to be able to respond yes or no, or provide an updated response, but I, I just don't know it well enough. I don't know. So is that a good thing? Who knows? You felt a little shy in the Go For It talent show. Yeah, um, I think so. It's a different, it's a different, um, setting, it's a different dynamic. I don't entirely remember, probably somewhat self-conscious. It was different. I had never done something like that as myself, which I like being characters, you know? And it was different. I was not the MC. I was not a, an entertainer. I was not whatever. I was just kind of there to respond. Uh, you are not one who is of the belief that your Reva is still alive. Um, you are very comfortable with yourself and perhaps a bit shy. I'd say so. I am comfortable in my own skin, thank God. And yes, I am shy sometimes. Sometimes a little, sometimes a lot, sometimes not at all. You have really rounded handwriting, partially scripted, very neat. Um, actually, sometimes, it's usually pretty neat. I like calligraphy and stuff like that. I'm trying to think of what I have here that I can show you that I wrote. You can't make a headstand anymore. As a kid, you probably could. Yeah, I could make a headstand as a kid. Actually, I don't know if I still can. You have donated your hair because your hair was really short. Um, actually, I did not donate my hair. I've never done it. I really wanted to. That time where I cut my hair really short, I only thought of it after the hairdresser chopped most of it off. I mean, afterwards she told me that it was kind of too dead to donate. Short hair was really fun. Now it just happens to be growing. I'm like, not specifically growing it out, just not specifically cutting it either. Anyway, you have something really random that you're terrified of. What? Yeah, I am aquaphobic. <laughs> um, I, like, I have a phobia of water that I can't see underneath. <laughs> so, like oceans and lakes and stuff like that that I can't see the bottom, or like I have a fear of things touching my feet. I don't know. There you go, you're welcome for that. You use shockwaves mousse in your hair, perhaps, actually perhaps Pantene. That is so funny. No, I don't use either of those. I used to use Pantene when I was in high school. I actually use like a gel, a hair gel thing, seems to work well for my hair. And um, sometimes if I use mousse, I use an OGX mousse. Very good, my hair likes it. You are a brave person. Um, try to flex my braveness, <laughs> my braveness muscle. Uh, I think a lot of the areas where I have to be brave are kind of just areas where I get in my own way. 
yeah, doing scary things is important. I think that that's how we see what we're really capable of and that's how we can grow and get better at things is by doing, by being brave and courageous and just doing scary things sometimes. <laughs> you were once addicted to Candy Crush. Nope, never downloaded it. I only kind of know what you're talking about. I know it's an app game thing, but no, I've never played it. You are an amazing person with much insight and so people smart. I uh, thank you, I don't know. <laughs> you know, I work on being insightful. If we're always interested in just listening and growing and, and reading and learning, then hopefully we gain more insight. And I don't know if I'm super people smart, but I definitely, I do think I have some people smarts, which is cool, right? We all, there's different types of smarts. <sighs> you are naturally a funny and fun person to be around. I'll take it. That you are a fantastic, energetic primary school teacher. <laughs> No, I am not. I did teach preschool though for a handful of years when I first got out of seminary um, and that was really fun. I love it. You enjoy coaching and hearing people's problems. <laughs> um, I, don't think they co I don't think of coaching as hearing people's problems. I hear it more as hearing people's blocks and I do love it. Um, I especially love approaching it in a way of, I used to call my program like the big sister transformation program. And that was just in a way of approaching it as a big sister. Like, hey, I've lived life. I've made mistakes. I've learned things the hard way. Here, let me show you the tools that I had to acquire through much difficulty that will hopefully help you in whatever things you want to accomplish or have an easier time getting through. So I really do enjoy it. I get to work with amazing people. Um, it's really cool. Thank God. I'm very grateful for finding this line of work. Truly curly hair matches your personality like sick. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever that means. <laughs> like really under this confident brave girl, we have one big scary cat. Scaredy cat? I'm not really sure what that one's saying. You are the weirdest person going in the coolest way. <laughs> I definitely have a little bit of nutsness, but that's okay. My sister says you touch type terribly. Like type on a keyboard? I'm actually a pretty good typist. Typer? I don't know. You touch type phenomenally. <laughs> oh, we have a counter response. Is touch type just regular typing? I don't know what that means. I assume that you're super cool and I think it's, I think it's true. I don't know, how do you define a cool person? I'm not sure. <laughs> you prefer cool, Coors over Corona and Budweiser over Coors. <laughs> we prefer everything over Corona by now. You're actually a loner and enjoy spending time alone. I wouldn't call myself a loner. I do enjoy spending time alone. You were always outspoken and unshy if that's a word. Definitely not. It is definitely something that I've learned and gotten better at and still continue to do so. Being at Spoken where it's important and in the proper ways is definitely a skill to learn how to do. And I am definitely still shy sometimes. <laughs> Your parents are English or at least one of them is. Nope, both my parents are from Brooklyn. You are very particular about what pajamas you wear. <laughs> um, I don't know about overly particular, I just like comfortable stuff. You wish you could be a creepy man. <laughs> Been there, done that. Thanks, Fagan. <laughs> I get the feeling you're very boho style. Not quite, not quite, but I may be wrong. I may be wrong. You were the clown smart aleck of your class. <laughs> I wouldn't say I was the smart aleck, or even specifically the clown. I had a lot of really fun and funny people in my class, even though it was a very, very small class. Somebody knows my full name, boss my mother's name. That is great. You like to figure out what makes people tick. Yeah, I think it's really interesting. We all, uh, just human beings and then also individuals. It's fascinating. It was fascinating work, but it really is. You are a very intelligent, creative person. Sometimes. I don't know, it's hard to measure intelligence to me, but um, I, would, I would call myself more artistic than creative. You use MAC mascara. Please say I'm correct. No, I do not use MAC mascara. Um, I use a few different mascaras, but actually right now, the mascara that I'm wearing is L'Oreal Voluminous from the drugstore. Your curly hair always looks perfect. It does not always look perfect. I have a lot of frizz, a lot of frizzies, which you can even start to see right now. Curly hair is a game. It's a whole process all the time. You love your blue and white striped dress. I do love that dress. <laughs> Yeah, and I have one in black and white also. You're down to earth. Yeah, I'd say so. I think so. You are one of the most talented people going. 
definitely not. There are many, 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 many people who are insanely, incredibly talented. Uh, if I get to be counted amongst them, that's a blessing. I, I, I wouldn't say that I'm one of them though. You're a chilled go with the flow person. Yeah, most of the time, I think so. There's definitely times that I can get a little bit stuck on something happening to be a certain way, but I, I generally like to go with the flow and pretty easily about a lot of things. You can be as serious as you can be funny. I think so, <laughs> I think so. You have a very healthy dose of self-love. I think so too. It took time, it took, blah. Not mine, time. It took time to learn how to do that and it's still an ongoing journey, right? We all need different things at different times, so learning how to do that is, is very important. It is the only and healthiest way to go about things, I think. You learned to love yourself, and you do. Yeah, I'd say so. You enjoy acting with the black girls. Yes, I do, I love them. They are, they're so great. They are so great, I truly adore them. You're the happiest person around for real. I don't know if that's true. I don't know if that's true, but I appreciate it very much. You sometimes look like an athlete. What does that mean, look like an athlete? Maybe. Definitely have a more athletic body build. You would be a lot of fun to meet. I would be a lot of fun to meet. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Davening is really important to you. That's interesting. It is really important to me. I think it's super important to start the day with um, saying thank you and making time for God by doing things like davening. So yeah, you sleep with a giant teddy bear. <laughs> no, I do not. You're really interesting. Okay, I don't know if that means like you're interesting or like, oh, fascinating. I think that that's subjective too. So could be, possibly. You go to shul every Shabbos. When I lived in California, I did. When I moved to New York, I do not. Okay, you do not have any stage fright. Thankfully, not really. My nerves, I think, more come out in the form of excitement. Once in a while, my stage fright, uh, something like stage fright will come out, but it's more if I'm not ready, then I'll start to get nervous. And actually, as I'm speaking, I'm realizing sometimes I get stage fright once I'm already on the stage. So it's not necessarily before I go on stage, but once I'm on stage in the middle of the first song or the first scene, I'll notice myself get a little shaky. Not always, but sometimes. And then I'm fine. It's kind of like a delayed response. <laughs> you are scared of heights. Actually, no, I am not scared of heights. I'm not scared of heights. I might be scared of jumping off of something very high, but I am not afraid of heights, actually, no. Nope, what's your best tip for life? That's a question, nice try. <laughs> I'm gonna say that for another one. You're a tomboy, epic dancer. I think when I was a kid, definitely in high school, I was definitely more of a tomboy. I don't know if I'm as much of a tomboy anymore. A little bit more uh, rocker chick vibe. <laughs> you love little tchotchkes, actually not so much. You hate wearing watches. Huh. I used to wear a watch all the time in high school, like would not take it off over here. Um, then at some point I stopped. I think I, I had a, it was like a leather band. So it started to smell from washing your hands and getting sweaty and not being able to breathe, <laughs> which is information you definitely needed to know. So I think I just stopped at some point and now I don't hate it, but I just don't really do it anymore. You have a ton of friends. I have some friends. You love murder mysteries. I think they're interesting. I think what's more fascinating to me is the storytelling and the way that that unfolds. You were chubby as a kid. When I was very little, I think maybe a little bit. When I was in elementary school, I was not. When I was in high school, I was for a while. Uh, yeah. <laughs> These cheeks come from somewhere, you know what I'm saying? Okay, you know sign language. I don't know sign language. You're a deep thinker. I think so. I think so. You are right-brained. Maybe? You are a risk taker. I'm working on that. The last few years, I have definitely been stepping into more risk taking and more unknown. Good times were had by all. You love laughter. <sighs> no. Just kidding, yes. You are left-handed. I'm not, I am right-handed. You have no anxiety. Um, thankfully, I don't have a ton of anxiety, but I would definitely not say I am completely anxiety free. You are an only child. That I am not. I am one of five. You are super slow. Thank you. You are dating. I am not currently at the moment, but I am definitely of age. You're yum. You rock. Oh boy. 
Okay, um, it looks like those are all of the assumptions that we have for today. There were a good handful of them that were questions and not assumptions. Thank you to all y'all that submitted assumptions and thank you for all of the really nice things that you said or the really interesting things that you thought. That was really fun to go through and I hope that this video was enjoyable to you. Let me know in the comments below what you enjoyed, what else you would like to see. I love feedback. I love being able to hear from you guys and see what you enjoyed, what you would love to see more of, all that kind of stuff. I definitely hope to be putting things out like this more often. So just keep the conversation going and until next time, I will see y'all ladies later. Bye. Anyway, thank you for that.